All right, so now that we've created our virtual machine using Vagrant and VirtualBox, we are ready to boot it up and start using it. So we'll move into our first VM folder, which is where we created our Vagrant file. So this is where we can boot up our virtual machine from. And I will go ahead and run Vagrant up to start up our virtual machine. All right, so now that our virtual machine has booted up, we can actually get inside our virtual machine by running Vagrant SSH. And this opens a secure shell inside of that virtual machine. As you can see, we have our little welcome to Ubuntu 1204 message here. And right here, you can see we are the Vagrant user on the Precise32 box. So if I go ahead and clear the screen, you can see that we are now inside of our virtual machine. So from inside our virtual machine, we can install whatever packages and software we want, and we can go ahead and run them and use them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to CD to a slash Vagrant folder, which is a special folder that Vagrant has for us. This slash Vagrant folder is actually linked to the folder that we created our virtual machine in. If I go ahead and list the items in this folder, you can see that we have our Vagrant file. This is that same Vagrant file that configured the virtual machine that we are inside. This is called a shared folder. We'll look at how we can set up other shared folders in the next screencast. However, it's good to realize that Vagrant sets up this one shared folder for us by default. It shares the folder that our virtual machine was created from with the slash Vagrant folder inside of our virtual machine. So these two folders are synced. So now we can actually go ahead and create something. Now, if I try to open an index.html file in Vim, you'll see that we don't actually have Vim installed. So let's go ahead and just echo some text here. We'll have an H1 and we can just say hi, something very, very simple, but something clearly HTML. And then we can just redirect this into the index.html file. So there you go, we have an HTML file. And now here in our virtual machine, we want to boot up a server. So the quickest way to do this here is going to be sudo python m and we can use the simple HTTP server module, and we can say that we want it on port 80. So what this does is set up a really simple web server on port 80 of our virtual machine. Now, through a little bit of magic that I did behind the scenes, which I will show you in the next screencast, port 80 here on our virtual machine is actually being forwarded to port 8080 on our host computer. So that means that we can see exactly what is being served from this server on our virtual machine from our regular browser. So if I go ahead and pop up localhost slash 8080, you can see that we can actually load up our web page here. Right there, you can see it says hi in an H1. So this is just a really, really simple first look at how we can use our virtual machine to run our software and still have it interact with our local computer. We can use things like shared folders and port forwarding to make working on this virtual machine as seamless as possible. And in fact, as we move on in through these screencasts, you'll see how we can make more complex setups on our Vagrant virtual machines and host a web server on our virtual machine that's much more practical for larger projects. However, this is a really great first step towards using a virtual machine as the host computer for your project. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C to quit this server. And now I can just type exit to leave our virtual machine. And now we're back to a prompt on our host computer. And I can show you that these folders are really linked. If I do an LS here, you can see that we have the very same index.html file that we had on our virtual machine here on our local computer. And of course this works both ways. So I could go ahead and make a change to this file or add other files here from the local computer. And then when we boot up our virtual machine, those things will be mirrored in that slash vagrant folder. So there you go. There's a first look at using our virtual machines.